talking earlier about the importance of rotating the strike and just look how well these these players, these Pakistan players in particular, use their wrist to maneuver the balls. So English players probably play that straight down the wicket. No. More bottom hand than that than wrist crashed away for four runs. And the square leg boundary power on that occasion. And no manipulation needed there. That was short. And as we said, the ball just sits up and that's hammered to the boundary. Really can't bowl there, can they? I think they've just been a little bit short, Ireland, today. Yeah, that's a better, better length to the right. The Pakistan batsmen have been so quick onto the short ball. Yeah, I had a chat to, to Grant Flower, who I also played a bit of cricket with in Zimbabwe, um, of all places. He's now the batting coach for Pakistan. Just chatting about you know, the work that he's been doing with, with the team and just said it's been amazing just learning how how they're able to find a way a different way of, of maneuvering the ball hitting the ball Ooh. that one's just gone through a bit quicker from Kevin O'Brien almost took the I thought he almost got a little edge on that it wasn't far away at all Seem to nip back at him a little bit. Kevin, uh, uh, Niall O'Brien. Four catches behind the wicket, looking for his fifth. Short from O'Brien again. Pulled around the corner. Went too quickly to the field, just a single. Yeah, back to my conversation with Grant Flower. He's probably been working there a couple of years now, but just saying that England and other Western countries, it's about technique, playing straight, you know, grooving your shots. Pakistan, he said, you know, it's about finding a way, finding a way to hit the ball through point. Or there's no, there's no sort of book thrown at you, you know. And if you look at them, the way that they use their wrists, the way they're able to manipulate the ball, it's very natural, isn't it? It's sort of Takes you back to being a young boy in the backyard, and you know, back then you just play because you loved it, and you, and you found a way of getting the ball between the trees or whatever it was, and it's actually quite refreshing. Must be tricky to coach it as well, though. You'd want to do a lot of watching and less <laughs> talking, I guess. Very much so. You go, I just go. We can, we can meet just, from over here. Well. Just go for him to take his photo. Yeah. <laughs> We're a big fan of the man over here. Oh, come on. Yeah. One by one. one yeah, by the one. days of street right. cricket. You can see it a huge right. amount anymore, yeah. but definitely where I learnt my cricket. Take tennis balls. Just to swing it round corners. Yeah. Take tennis, hard take tennis balls. And concrete, just to rough it up one side and really get it swinging. Pulled away. Has it found a gap between the fielders? No, just slowing up. Good work out there. They'll take two. Brilliant fielding out in the deep. That was very, very good. Hard throw. Well chased. Excellent fielding. Just taking a while to get into their fielding. I just feel like a very good technique. Gets down low. Gets it in two hands. So important. Make sure you get in your both your hands and then release before often fielders will look up too early. And it goes again. This time it just clears mid on. And I think it's going to race away. Yeah, we've spoken about the field here with the three men on the on the well they've got four men on the on the leg side now. Three back, but he's got to pitch the ball up on the offside. The field's set for it. It's just too easy on this wicket. Too much time to Place the ball wherever you want. Coming around the wicket as well, probably exposes the leg side a little bit more. Yeah, they've got a mid-wicket in now, but I really would have liked to have seen that mid-wicket in a bit earlier. Just gives them something to bowl at. He 
you talk about the street uh, cricket, Nick. It's the sort of thing that doesn't happen in this country. We, the, the, the sport of cricket hasn't got into the, the veins of the whole population. It happens in pockets. And as a result, we just don't have the huge numbers playing that other countries have. Cricket, thing, Irish. cricket Ireland doing their best to spread the game. Oh, powerful strike straight down the ground. Chase might have got a fingertip to it. You know what Ireland wanted. You know what, is coming in here and playing a little cameo, isn't he? 33 now, just 29 delivery, but again, good base. Really watches the ball right onto the bat, and look at the flourish of the bat through the line of the ball. Very, very good batting. Ireland have got to watch this man, just see if they can try and get him off strike, because this could really power Pakistan to a very good, uh, good total. at another swing of that but they get the single 40 overs gone 271 for five well Myrtle bow to the final seven To remind everyone, it's a 47 over game, so after after this, just six overs left. Best seat in the house, hey? The free seat. Interesting field here, Murta Foreman on the leg side, all on the rope. and right-hand batsmen together at the creases. But uh, if they get into the provincial towns, it'll start to make a big difference. Swung at, into the space. And the other side, they fall. Oh, beats the top edge. They say school cricket's quite, quite competitive here. The schoolboy cricket, it's gone. The uh, underage through the summer. Swung it hard again into space, but fielder deep. It'll just be one good over from Tim Murta. Just three from that over. End of 41, it's 274 for five. The Middlesex teammate Paul Sterling bowls a bit of part-time off spin. Could be very useful. He bowls quite well at the death because he bowls quite quick and he can manage to get those really full Yorkers in. They're very hard for the batsmen to get underneath, so I expect they'll uh, try and do a similar thing with the field. Put the mid on, mid off back, try and get fielders on the leg side and he'll bowl very straight. Six overs to go. Pushing up towards seven and over. Sharp fielding from Sterling to cut that one off. Straight down the leg side, wide, cold. He gave that one a bit of a flight. Single taken. I know my teammates, eh? Right in the block hole there. Be competitive, but they'd like to practice their death hitting at the end. Very important. Oh, 
little hesitation from the runners, so they get home safely. Good job from Sterling, though. Exactly what the doctor... Well bowled. Oh, it's very wide in the crease on his bowling action. Oh, that was a little bit on the full, whipped away. Barry McCarthy fielding out of the deep, saves the four, two runs taken. This might be some of the reason we don't have enough cricketers uh, in Ireland, Nick. Golf is very, very popular. A little Chinese cut there, gets away. Stumps are thrown down at the far end. Good accuracy, batsman is home, though. Oh, he's looking good, Navas. He's making the most of the opportunity he has got. Showing his promise with the bat. Pretty impressive footwork. Realised that the bowler is probably going to drag the ball down if he advanced down the pitch, and he was almost ready there, and almost like a baseball shot, swatted it through the leg side. Fuck! Runs them well too. He was there. It's good feeling. Certainly was carnage, um, but now I think they'll be relying on the experience of Shoaib Malik. He's played 200 plus games for Pakistan. And you got the young debutant in Nawaz who's hit six boundaries already. Striking at around about 107. So they're looking good. I'd probably say around 315, 320. Oh, This is the aspect of the game where Pakistan has to improve in ODIs to be a good all-round team. They got the momentum, the moment Shajil got out, they actually handed over to the opposition. And it's highly imperative for the middle order batsmen to carry on with that momentum. And that's why Pakistan team is very low in ranking as far as ODIs are concerned. Test matches, they're very good, one has to say. I guess this is where the likes of Mohammed Hafiz, Azhar Ali, have to step up. Shoaib Malik too, and he heard you. Oh, what, a, what an effort, what an effort. Certainly saving two runs for his side. Great commitment there by the Irish captain. Puts himself of the deep mid-wicket, the key areas, certainly stop two runs. Hit it right from the middle of the pad, and the ball was traveling, great effort. Had to cover a lot of space. And look at the effort. Their weight, especially in these key overs. Nawaz missed out. He was the opportunity to get to his first ODI 50. This juicy full toss. I think it's a perfect opportunity here for Shoaib Malik. With the off spinner bowling into, into his arc. He could target the leg side. Sure, it's a big hit there, but if he's 
if he's able to time it. Well, Sterling deposited. Exactly that. I think it's just the right time for Shoaib to take the attack to the bowlers in the last four or five overs here. Pack sign innings. Well, that's where the spinners have struggled in this game. Whenever they were attacked by the batsman, they preferred hurling the ball to the batsman and it made it easier. In the air and oh, it's a six. Brilliant effort, but in vain. First the captain, now one of the senior guys. Great effort there. Just tips it over the bar. Good reply there from Paul Sterling. He's going to pro probably try and bowl the ball wide of off stump here. And should go for four. Too much width offered by the bowler over there and gleefully accepted by Shoaib Malik. And exactly that, but using his experience, that's what I'm talking about. His 200 games that he's played, he uses his experience, knows what the bowler's trying to do. And all he does is stays left side of the ball and accesses through the ball, through the offside. Three of five for five, Pakistan now. Three overs for Pakistan in this innings. And both these batsmen sat out there in the middle. It can be hard work for Irish bowlers. I haven't got enough experience to deal with situations like this. Balling with the good, a good a right idea, McCarthy, and that's why he's been successful. He has been uh, predictable for batsmen. Smart bowling, trying not not to be predictable. Trying to change the angle, trying to change the pace of the delivery, and and this, that's a smart thinking for a young guy only in seventh game. is good slow one hit away and it's a six sheer power there from uh, Shari Malik watches it all the way onto the bat there slower ball I think he realized what the bowler is trying to do waited for it and swatted it over the leg side he became predictable, didn't he? He was relying heavily on those slow deliveries. This is better. A noble delivery from a pace man. 
End of the over. 45 gone. It's 3-1-4 for 5 Pakistan. He's going to go with the experience. Kevin O'Brien should be the bowler. Sure. So it's Kevin O'Brien and then probably McCarthy to bowl his last over. That's well placed. Two runs for Shoaib Malik to start the over. Now Pakistan has started this innings very strongly and they would love to finish them, this one even stronger. Interesting tactics there by the Irish bowlers. Looks like they're going to bowl slow ball bounces or slow ball just back of a length. Talk about the timing. Talk about the placement. Beautiful timing. What plays the ball late and just takes a nice stroll down the wicket because he realizes as soon as the moment you hit it that that's four. No, no, no. Room outside the off stump. This stage of the game, you're asking for trouble. And Shweb Malik has moved very close to another 50 in ODIs. He's on 49 now. Yeah, you can't bowl with so much width to any international batsman. With that line and with the field set, all he has to do is get a little bit of bat on it and he'll just race away to the boundary. Fifty for sure, Malik. Well played. Uses all of his experience and strolls his way to a, yet another fifty for Pakistan. Very well played. We saw power and placement and timing from Shoaib Malik. Rotation of the strike too. Running between the wicket has been very good from Shoaib Malik. Lucky. O'Brien on that occasion. Once again providing a lot of width to Shoaib Malik. Yes, an interesting tactic there by Ireland. Only problem with this is that it frees up a lot of scoring areas. Especially a guy who's pretty strong on the offside. End of the penultimate over, it's 328 for five now. This is going to be the last over. And McCarthy is the baller. No surprises there. In the air. Oh, another one goes down. And it's gone for four and it's made in 50 for Mohammad Nawaz. He played beautifully for his 53 runs, seven boundaries. Do wonders for his confidence for the young man on his debut. There's a chance there. Kevin O'Brien missing the ball. That's in the air again, and this time it's going to be taken. McCarthy gets his fourth. Wicked there for Young McCarthy.
very, very... McCarthy gets his fourth. Wicket there for Young McCarthy. Very, very good innings. A much needed innings. Oz. Unselfishly. And he struck it well. Bounce over the rope, four runs. Well, he's been going along nicely, Shad Malik, and now he's just showing his power and his placement. Slower ball. Straight into the bowler's bat batsman's arc. The reason why Shreve Malik is so dangerous in the middle order in the last few overs, he keeps still. And he decided at the last precise moment which shot he's going to employ. And that's why he's been successful in. <laughs> been Premier League. In fact, he was player of the finals. Spoke to him uh, during the warm-up and he said he thoroughly enjoyed it. He thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed playing out in the Caribbean. The wickets assisted his bowling and was also able to contribute with the bat lower down the order. And with the crowds right behind you. That's a great spot to play your cricket. fail to get bad on ball Imad Wasim so Pakistan will be quite satisfied with the effort they scored 337 and lost six wickets he played well in the depth of the innings for Pakistan Shweb Malik well the idea of bowling first didn't really work for Irish captain and the team but Worked well for Pakistan. Sharjeel Khan, start of the show with 152. And others contributing. It's a tough day for the bowlers today. Timmy Mertz are probably the pick of the bowlers. But apart from that, probably Chase McRyan. Uh, and Mc...